After you've analyzed a company's transactions for the period, it's time to report the results on the company's financial statements. Here is a quick review of those statements. There are three commonly used financial statements. The income statement, the statement of owner's equity, and the balance sheet. First you'll see the income statement. It's also called the profit and loss statement. Notice the heading on the income statement. Headings are very important. The first line tells you the company's name. The second is the name of the statement. And then the last line is the statement date. You must include all these elements in the statement date. For the year, or it could be the month, for the year ended December 31st, 2014. Um, you have to say for the period ended, so it could be the month or the year. You have to have the name of the month, the last day of the month, and of course the year. First, on the, fun on the income statement, you'll see the revenue heading. And underneath the revenue heading, you'll list the revenues for the period. This comes from your books that you've prepared or that, that spreadsheet that you've been putting together. Total revenues were 10000 so we're going to list that total over in the right-hand column. Then you have the expenses heading. Underneath the expenses heading, you will list each expense for the company. And then the amount in the left-hand column then the total of all the expenses are listed here in the right-hand column. These are your total expenses for the period. Then the expense total is subtracted from the revenue total to arrive at the company's net income. So basically there are two types of accounts on the income statement, revenues and expenses. The next statement is the statement of owner's equity. The heading is the same as for the income statement. It's the name of the company, the name of the statement, statement of owner's equity, and the same date for the year ended December 31st, 2014. You begin with the owner's beginning capital and that is listed over in the right-hand column because we are going to show how the owner's capital changed over the period. The next item on the statement of owner's equity is the net income for the period. Notice that the net income comes down from your income statement, so that's where you're getting that number. The next item on the statement is withdrawals. This is what the owner has taken out of the business. So in this case, the owner withdrew $2,000. So if we had net income coming into the business of $4,000, the owner took out $2,000 of it, then his capital has increased by $2,000. Now sometimes you can have a decrease in capital, so you have to be careful. If the owner has withdrawn more money than he's brought out in net income, this will cause a decrease in capital. Um, if there has been a net loss, you will have a decrease in capital, so you have to watch that line. In this case, we brought in $4,000, the owner took out $2,000, so there's a $2,000 increase in capital. So if we started with $9,000, we've increased the capital by $2,000, then the owner's final capital balance for the period is $11,000. The next statement is the balance sheet. This one is, the heading's a little different. It's still the name of the company and the name of the statement but the date is simply a specific date. These are the balances for these particular accounts on this date, whereas this activity on the income statement and the activity on the statement of owner's equity happened over a period, so that's why the dates are a little different. 
So the balance sheet is actually elements of your accounting equation. Assets must equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So your first heading is assets. And then you will list your assets underneath that heading. In this case, you have cash, accounts receivable, supplies, and equipment. These totals are listed in the left-hand column, with the total assets being listed in the right-hand column. The next heading is liabilities. So far, we just have one of those. That's accounts payable. And then the accounts payable total is listed over in the right-hand column. The owner's equity is one account, and that is our new capital account from your statement of owner's equity. Because up here we have combined all the elements under owner's equity, revenues, expenses, and drawing, to come up with one total. And this total is carried down to the balance sheet. So make sure when you enter the owner's capital here that you're entering the new capital figure, not the old. So when we add the liabilities plus the owner's equity, we get 12,000, which is the same as our as total assets. It is very important to make sure that your balance sheet is in balance. It's not a good thing to submit a balance sheet that's out of balance. If for some reason you're out of balance here, you probably should start over at your income statement because you may have an error here or you could have an error in your statement of owner's equity.